Hi friends, welcome back or welcome to the channel. If you're joining us for the first time, I'm T and this is my YouTube channel, Crumpus and Sewing. So in today's video, we are going to take a look at a few sweater and cardigan patterns that you can sew for the fall of 2022. So we are going to also take a look at how you can style these, like some of the trendy styles that uh, people are uh, doing to uh, spice up these cardigans and these sweaters. So you'll see throughout the video, I'll put a few pictures up here so you can see how you can style these beautiful cardigan and sweater patterns. So with all of that said, let's go ahead and get into today's video and let's look at some beautiful cardigan and sweater patterns. Okay, so I wanna start us off with the Marlowe sweater by True Bias. So this is a pattern that I recently purchased this year. It came out, I believe the year before last, and so it's a really trendy pattern. Uh, everybody in the sewing community loves it. And so I am really excited to uh, uh, sew a version of um, myself. So you can get this in the PDF format or a printed format. So I purchased the printed format and I purchased the size 14 to 30. So um, it is a little bit... Um, uh, oversized. So you have to make sure that you, you select the size that, uh, you feel like will close fit, uh, the style that you're looking for. So to give you an idea, I believe the size 14 is a size, uh, I believe 48 or 46 inches for the, uh, finished bust measurement. So it is a pattern that run really large. So you want to make sure that you pay attention to, uh, the size range there. Go on the website, check the size ranges before you purchase it. Uh, this is a pattern that also come in cup sizes. And so um, I believe I selected the D cup size. So you also have those options. So this is a beautiful cardigan. You have a button band on the front of the cardigan. You have um, for the crop version, you have, I believe three buttons going down the center front. And then there's a longer version. And I believe you have about four or five buttons for that variation. You have a drop shoulder and you also have a sleeve band. So it's really nice and it's for your advanced beginners. And the description says that um, the Marlowe is an oversized sweater with a drop shoulder, deep V neck, wide bands and large buttons. View A is a crop length and view B has a patch pocket and hits above the mid thigh. So, um, I really, really love this. Like I said, and I can't wait to, um, to wear this. Now I can see this paired with like a slip dress, which would be really fun and cute or um, just your classic blue jeans with the t-shirt. You can dress it up, dress it down. And I think it would be so fun uh, to dress this up specifically in a beautiful slip dress or some type of silky dress with um, a beautiful um, cardigan would be really cute. There's the Nomi ME2003. Alyssa, she goes by Alyssa Threads on Instagram. She released this beautiful uh, cardigan that has this ruffle around the neckline, band going down the center front with buttons on the band, long sleeve uh, cropped cardigan with the band on the sleeve. So I think this is really cute. And it also reminds me of the McCall's pattern that I made uh, last year. And that's also on the list. So I'll talk about that here pretty soon. But this is also a really cute, cute sweater. And I can see it paired with a, a skirt like what she's wearing here. Or again, over top of a really nice, uh, fun, drapey, silky type um, dress or a skirt or something like that would be really fun. The next pattern is the Butterick B6857. So this is a sweater pattern. It's not a cardigan, it's a sweater pattern. And you have uh, three different options that you can choose from. You have this, uh, this pullover top that has like this collar around the neckline. And you also have different sleeve variations. You could do a three quarter length sleeve, a long sleeve. You could do a sleeve with the band on the bottom. You also have a shirt tail uh, hem that you can make for one of the variations with button details going across the, uh, the width of the shoulder, the length of the shoulder, which is really nice. And then you also have, um, for view a, this high rounded neck band also, which is really cute. The next pattern is the Vicky sews, uh, sweater, uh, and it's called the Carol pattern. Now this is suitable for your beginners. 
What I like about Vicky Sews is that most of the patterns from this pattern company are very inexpensive. And so they're usually no more than like between eight to $10, which is really nice. And the Carol sweater is eight US dollars. So the Carol sweater, it is semi-fitted, straight cut sweater, drop shoulder with sleeves, neckline is finished with a band. So this is going to be um, very um, easy to make, not anything you know too elaborate, which I think would be fun. Again, I think this would be so cute in like a, uh, a silky skirt, a slip dress, tie it with a belt. Um, a cardigan or a um, pair of jeans or anything like that. It's going to be fun to do that. Now, if you don't want to pay the $8 for the Carol sweater on the Vicky uh, So site, they do have a similar uh, sweater that is uh, called the Nikki and it's a free PDF download pattern. So again, this is suitable for your beginners. You have a scrape a straight cropped semi-fitted sweatshirt. It features um, drop shoulders and um, you're sewing in your sleeve using the flat method and it has a round neckline for your finishing for your neckline. So very simple, easy. The McCall's M8247. This is a cardigan that I actually made uh, last year and I absolutely love this pattern. I think I'm going to make it again this year. You have uh, three different variations of a cardigan that has a band uh, that goes around the neckline and you also have buttons going down the center front. You have an option to do a, a version with gathering on the sleeve head or you can do a version without the gathers on the sleeve head you have different lengths including a crop version a um, mid-length version and then also a long version for it it's easy and it says that it's a knit v-neck button down spreader cardigan that comes in multiple lengths sleeves and optional scalloped lace trim details that go around the neckline you have a puff sleeve and long sleeves and you also have, again, the different lengths that are included as well. There's also the Simplicity S9374. So this is a knit button front vest in two different lengths. You have a longer view that features front and patch pockets. You have a pull on V-neck vest, which is the variation that don't have the buttons going down the center front. And then you also have two variations that you can choose that has buttons going down the center front. Actually, it's, I'm sorry, yeah, two, two variations that you can choose that have the buttons going down the center front. You have a long, um, kind of like a tunic style sweater, and then you also have the cropped view. Uh, now this has grown on sleeves. All variations have grown on sleeves, so you don't have to worry about attaching sleeves to this particular pattern. The Simplicity S9385, this is another pattern that I've sewn last year and I absolutely love it. I uh, made a jersey, a rayon jersey, black and white dotted garment with it and it's just so beautiful. Um, now I will say for the neckline of it, you do have to make sure you pay particular attention. The neckband is a little too long. You will have to shorten the neckband to fit the neckline properly. But other than that, it's a beautiful pattern and I didn't have any other problems with it. I do have a review, so I'll put that in the description box below so you could go over and check out the review. And I have worn this top just so many times throughout the year. I've washed it so many times because I, I love it and I wear it so much. So I definitely want to make another version of that because I love the garment. Uh, then there's the Simplicity S9373. Now, although I have not made this one, I do want to make it. You do have four different variations of a sweater that has a drop shoulder. You have uh, sleeves that are attached to the drop shoulder. And then you also have optional uh, cuffs that you can attach to that sleeve as well. You have front pockets. You also have buttons going down the front of the beautiful V neckline. Um, and the band that's on the front there. So very, very nice. You have different length options, which is really fun and different sleeve options to choose from with this uh, particular pattern. 
Lastly, there's the Arlington sweater by Love Notions. Now, this is a beautiful sweater and it's one that I have been considering buying myself. I really like the variation that have the puff sleeve that have the gathering on the sleeve, uh, which is really cute. But you have different variations here that you can actually choose. The description says that the Arlington sweater is a great transitional piece for your fall and winter wardrobe. Choose from three different body styles, um, hip length, banded shirt length and above the knee dress so you can even make a dress out of this it says that it has neckline options that are turtleneck mock turtleneck or a cow neck so you can mix up um whatever you decide to choose and then you have sleeve options which includes a long bishop sleeve elbows and puff sleeve that is short and a puff sleeve that is long. So you have a lot of different options for that Arlington sweater. So anyway, those are some sweater options and some cardigan options that you can sew this fall. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any favorites that I did not mention in this video. Let me know the name or the number of the patterns so that I can look those up too. Um, and then who knows, I might even change some of my sewing plans to include some of those patterns as well. So thank you all for hanging out with me today. I hope you all had a fun time. If you did, please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. And please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. I hope you all have a happy and blessed sewing week. Bye.